Ludwig van Beethoven is one of the greatest composers who ever lived. He was a German pianist and composer. His works to this date command the respect of a wide range of music scholars and is a source of inspiration for contemporary artists. During the transitional period of music from the classical to the romantic era, no musical figure was more important than him. Are you a fan of Beethoven's music and interested in knowing exciting facts about his life? Then this video is a must watch for you because we'll be reviewing interesting facts about this legendary composer. As much as Beethoven is celebrated today, his life was not a bed of roses. He was born in December 1770, but the exact date is unknown. He was born in the city of Bonn, in the Electorate of Cologne, a principality of the Holy Roman Empire. Beethoven's mother, Maria Magdalena van Beethoven, was a highly moralistic woman. He had two younger brothers, Caspar and Johann. Considering all that you are probably thinking that Beethoven was born into a very happy family, just wait till his father comes into the picture. Beethoven's father was a mediocre court singer, but his fame for alcoholism was much better known than any musical ability. Beethoven went through intensive childhood abuse from his father, who began teaching him music at a young age, after discovering the amount of talent his son had, hoping to turn him into a child prodigy like Mozart. His father taught him with so much rigor and brutality that it scarred him for the rest of his life. There were irregular night sessions, with the young Beethoven being dragged from his bed to the keyboard and neighbors' accounts of the boy weeping while playing the clavier, standing atop a footstool to reach the keys. His father beating him mercilessly for any single mistake or hesitation made. Most of the time, Beethoven will be flogged, locked in the cellar and deprived of hours of sleep for extra hours of practice. This behavior made Beethoven hesitant and timid in his actions. Beethoven's grandfather, godfather and namesake, Kapellmeister Ludwig van Beethoven, was Bonn's most prosperous and eminent musician, a source of endless pride for the young Beethoven. It's rumored that if not cause of the admiration that young Beethoven had for his grandfather, he most likely would have turned out differently amidst his father's rough training. Beethoven's father arranged a public recital for his son titled Little Son of Six Years Old hoping that he'd be recognized as a child prodigy so that he could bask in the glory as a father of a genius. Unfortunately for him, it didn't turn out as expected. Although young Beethoven played spectacularly, it didn't receive as much attention as he hoped for. This classical genius attended a Latin grade school called Teresonium, in which his classmate later left a comment, according to him, not a sign was to be discovered of that spark of genius which glowed so brilliantly in him afterwards. Beethoven, who is believed to have had mild dyslexia, was not at the top of his class and could at best be considered average. As he put it himself, music comes more readily to him than words. In 1781, Beethoven, who then was 10 years old, decided to leave school to pursue his passion fully, studying under Christian Gottlob Neve, the newly appointed court organist. At the young age of 11, this great genius published his first composition, which was a set of five piano variations. When Beethoven was 18 years old, he had become the breadwinner of his family because his father could not support the family anymore. This was due to his intense love for alcohol, which seemed to worsen as years went on and his voice got worse. Young Beethoven had to carry the weight of the family by himself, so he applied for the official appointment of an assistant court organist, and despite being very young, he was accepted due to his immense talents. At the young age of 21, Beethoven decided to leave his hometown or Vienna in order to further his art while studying under Hayden. While in Vienna, Beethoven wholeheartedly devoted himself to musical study. Beethoven was not only a genius, but very hardworking. Through his hard work and dedication, combined with his immense talent for music, Beethoven easily established a reputation as a virtuoso pianist. He made his long-awaited debut on March 29, 1795. Shortly after, Beethoven published a series of three piano trios as his Opus 1 which was a huge success and raked an enormous financial gain for him. Having watched all here, you're probably thinking that Beethoven's life's problems will disappear and everything he has ever desired will come to him. You have no idea how wrong you are. Shortly after he made his debut and published his three piano trios, Beethoven started losing his hearing. Have you heard of any musician composing songs while gradually losing his sense of sound? 
Beethoven is no doubt the first to complete such a feat in the history of music. Amidst losing his hearing gradually as days went by, Beethoven continued producing more astonishing works, seemed to have pulled all the emotions about his different life complexities into his music, which in turn made him the most important figure during the transitional period of classical to romantic era music. From 1803 to 1812, Beethoven released a lot of soul-shocking music amidst his increasing deafness. He composed an opera, six symphonies, four solo concerti, five string quartets, six string sonatas, seven piano sonatas, five sets of piano variations, four overtures, four trios, two sextets, and 72 songs. By 1810, Beethoven became less socially involved due to his increasing deafness, which was very hard to cope with, mainly due to his profession as a composer. He composed Misses Solemnis between 1819 and 1823 and his final symphony, number no. 9, one of the first examples of a choral symphony between 1822 and 1824. By 1814, Beethoven was already completely deaf. Beethoven's most known works were his Moonlight Sonata and the only opera he ever created, Fidelio, which he polished and revised for about 10 years. Due to different reasons, including his extreme shyness and unfortunate physical appearance, Beethoven never got married or had any child. He was, however, deeply in love with a married woman, Antoni Brentano. He wrote a love letter over two days in July of 1812. The letter was never sent, but it read, Addressed to you, my immortal beloved. The letter said in part, My heart is full of so many things to say to you. Ah, there are moments when I feel that speech amounts to nothing at all. Cheer up. Remain my true, my only love, my all, as I am yours. Despite Beethoven's incessant release of astonishing music, he was often paranoid, greedy, suspicious of everyone, and short-tempered. In one recorded incident, Beethoven attempted to break a chair on the head of Prince Lichnowsky, which was one of his closest friends. In another incident, he stood in the doorway of Prince Lovkowitz's palace, shouting at the top of his voice for all to hear, Lovkowitz is a donkey. He also often had disagreements on an almost regular basis with his housekeepers, friends, pupils, publishers, patrons, and many others. Through this, it can be seen that Beethoven led a lonely and miserable life throughout his adult life. According to Beethoven in 1802, he was almost at breaking point. On a retreat to Heiligenstadt, just outside Vienna, he wrote, I would have ended my life. It was only my art that held me back. Ah, it seemed to be impossible to leave the world until I had brought forth all that I felt was within me. This is now known as the Heiligenstadt Testament and was published in 1828. After a few months of intensive illness, Beethoven died in 1827. But his works are still alive and celebrated all over the world today. If you found this video useful, remember to click on the like section and drop your comments in the comment section. We'd love to hear your thoughts.